Greetings and welcome, my name is Jake Rayson. I am a wildlife and food forest garden designer, but today I want to talk to you about setting up a Mastodon account. I have a friend who has just set one up and is a bit kind of confused about where to go. They're very used to using Twitter. So I thought I'd just do this as an overview and then I can point people to it. So I'll post this text into a toot as well, as a tweet is known, a Mastodon. So I'm presuming you've already signed up. Uh, I'm just going to go through what you do to get everything else set up so that it kind of works quite nicely. So first of all, we're going to do the display name. So this is the st I always use the web view pretty much most most of the time, uh, and this I find it the easiest way of kind of getting around. And then the top right hand corner, top left hand corner, you've got edit profile. So I'm just going to edit the profile. So the first thing you want to do is the uh, the display name, which is this name here. Uh, garden wild plants and I think I'm just going to call it garden wild plants this is a community interest company that I've set up to promote climate action community climate action by setting up wildlife food forest gardens so I'm using this as an example and it is something I needed to do anyway um, so that's the first thing is the display name and this is under the profile appearance the next thing is to write a bio a bio a bi a biography for yourself and I've written one here I put lots of hashtags in it um, hashtags I use an awful lot on Mastodon so kind of always use hashtags where you can and capitalize them so that screen readers um, it's called camel case so like forest garden is one word but use capital F and a capital G and I put that in my in my bio uh, then I'm going to choose a header uh, which is the kind of background here's a background and some uh, native wildflowers, UK wildflowers. So I'll use that photograph. I'll choose that file, which is on my desktop. Wildflower plant combinations. And I'm going to choose an avatar as well down here. So this is uh, not going to be my ugly face. It's going to be a um, elephant garlic, uh, which I've got set up there. Okay, and that's great. So that's the kind of first first things first things to do. And then <laughs> we're going to look at the, so that's your display name, biography, avatar. And now we're gonna look up the, the profile metadata. Sounds a bit scary, just basically means you can put in information in there, whatever you like. I think you've got four different fields and you just put like website address or stuff like that, or YouTube or Substack or newsletter or whatever it is that you've got a link to, you can put that in there. That's your kind of metadata for the account. Um, so the ones I've got, uh, profile metadata, I've got a website which is gardenwild.org.uk, so I'll put that in here, website, and when you put web addresses in, do put in the https colon forward slash forward slash uh, for them, because that's Mastodon actually uses them. Uh, Facebook, I've got a, an account on Facebook, uh, which I've don't use a vast amount to be honest and then a gallery I've got a prototype gallery for native wildflowers uh, ooh, gallery yeah just as an example gallery prototype okay and one of the things that you can do this is getting a little bit too technical but just bear it for future reference there's verification so if you put a link to a website on here that you own you can verify that you own the website and you can do that by um, clicking and copying the, the link here and basically you put that link onto your website I won't go into the you know where to put it and everything but you put it on your website and then Macedon checks and says yes you own the website because you pasted that link in that website is verified. You own that website or you have access to that website to be able to change it and add a link to it. And then you save changes. <laughs> and back to Mastodon. And you can see I've got my profile, the garden wild plants, and it's got my profile there and it's got links in here. And the garden wild, that will, the verification will come up later on. So there we go, fantastic. I've got a profile image, biography, um, let's go and do the rest of it so go back to edit profile and I want to put in featured hashtags uh, hashtags as I said before I use an awful lot 
Where is featured hashtags? Oh, there we go underneath. On the left hand side, featured hashtags. So wild flowers is a hashtag. Um, native plants. Uh, I kind of do a lot of forest gardens as well. Forest garden. Um, gardening. Uh, native plants, wild flowers, forest gardening. Food forest. Oopsie. Food forest. You get the idea. I think there's a. I think you can have up to a dozen. So you put them in, and they they show up in your profile, and then that's a nice thing that you that, that people can find you by. And the next thing that you want to go, if you go back to to Masterton now, to back to the your homepage with your stream. Uh, you want to um, post an introduction and use the hashtag introduction as well. So uh, by posting an introduction, hopefully you get people to boost it, and then people boost it, then then you will get a kind of more of a, more of a profile, and more people will, will follow you, and you can follow back. So an awful lot of this is about uh, reboot, retweet, what was called retweeting, but boosting other people's work and following people that you're interested in. So don't be shy about it. You can always unfollow people later on. Because at the moment, obviously, there's nothing in the timeline. There are suggestions for people to follow, but I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to go straight in. I'm going to write an introduction. So I've written one already. And I'm going to post that in here. Uh, uses lots of hashtags. Publish that. There we go. So it's the th three dots, pin on profile. And that will keep it at the top. So anyone coming to your profile page they will see this introduction first of all and they'll go oh cool that's what they're up to that's what they're into follow them or not follow them and don't be worried if people want to follow you they follow you if they don't don't worry about it okay so the next thing then in this whistle stop tour is to follow people um and then the, i've got three people that i'm going to follow first of all the friend sarah has a brilliant podcast called roots and all i'll put that in here and you put it in the top left hand corner search and you search for names there as well as the easiest way I found of doing it. So I'm going to search for that name and roots and all mass dot There we go. That's Sarah. Sarah's profile. I'll follow her. There we go. So she's now got two followers. Um, and then the other one, Lyndon Hawthorne, who's brilliant. She does a lot of work, uh, native wildflowers and insects and all sorts of uh, 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 yeah, gardens, gardening, plants. She's, she's brilliant. Uh, so I search for her and then I'm going to follow her. And you can just click on the plus sign down over here. And then just kind of a bit random, um, Dr. Erica McAllister, she is an entomologist at the Natural History Museum. Is that right? Yeah, Natural History Museum. Uh, she's great. I've heard her speak. She's been on a couple of podcasts that I've heard. She's brilliant. Really, really into flies. And uh, if you're into wildlife gardening at all, flies are absolutely fantastic because they are they do more pollination than bees, I think. Or it's kind of 50-50 or something like that. Might get a bit of controversy in the entomology entomology world. But um, she's, she's really, really good. Just like um, really kind of on it and just really engaging as well. So search for her and then add her there. Okay. So that's that. I've started following people. So now, homepage, um, and then any if any one of these people start tweeting, they start to come up onto your onto your homepage. So the more people you follow, the more people you get coming up. Um, what I do is follow lots of people, and then I kind of I, 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 I will unfollow people if I you know if I'm not that keen on what they're saying or something. But I just kind of generally like to get a, a feel for stuff and then follow, create different specific lists for specific interests. And I find that's the best way uh, of doing it. Okay, so uh, next one then is to um, advanced web interface. Now, this makes a massive, massive difference to how I use Mastodon. Click on edit profile, that's going to be easier. Edit profile. Oh, yes and then click on preferences and then click on enable advanced web interface not as scary as it sounds it just means that you get columns you get like a multiple columns and then it's much much easier to see different lists that you've created so save that Diding. back to mastodon and you get this dunk, 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 and you get them set out so that's advanced web interface and then create a hashtag list um, 
love hashtags brilliant absolutely fantastic and, and 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 how stuff is used because you're not being fed algorithms by twitter you're not being fed content for you to click and like and all the rest of it and sponsored posts and everything you have to kind of create your own interest so whatever you're interested in there's a lovely one called mostodon um so if you click on the search box click on the search box mostodon and then hit return and you can see the uh, number of people who are posting about that so click on there and then it gives you a list of mostodon which is pictures of moss which is lovely absolutely love it i mean I mean, I'm more interested now in Moss than I was, but I was kind of quite interested in any, in Moss anyway. Uh, if you click on the preferences in the top, you can pin that. And in the advanced web interface, that enables you the list. It gives you all the latest stuff coming up. So I've got that pinned on my, own, my, other, my other account, which is lovely. And another one which I've got to tell you about is called um, Like and Subscribe. I mean, I just, it just the name is absolutely uh, brilliant. So like and subscribe and then I'll pin that one as well and then you can see finally finally oh I don't know forest garden oh hardly anyone's posting about that it's mostly me <laughs> but I'll pin it anyway and the nice thing is you can then um, move these around you can move the columns around if you click on the preferences you've got little arrows to move them, move them back and forth cool so that's those lists and then I'm going to create other lists as well like I say I follow lots and lots of different people and then I create lists of like my kind of people I really want to hear from like, like my, at my a list and then I have friend list and all that kind of stuff going on so if you go all the way over to the right hand side that this getting started kind of column is always there so you can access your bookmarks and the stuff you favorited and mess direct messages and all the rest of it but there's also lists in there so you click on lists create a list and say a list or whatever you want to call the list and click a list and then click on uh, uh, your profile garden wild and click on following and then click on Lin Linden I'm gonna click on Linden and I'm gonna add her once you get that profile up there you can then add her and it, just just below them <laughs> just by my face it says add or remove from lists and then I can click on the plus sign and it adds Linden to the list and then to get the list to come up oops click on lists and you can right hand corner of the preferences you can pin that list and then that list comes up yeah and the getting started column has shifted over so there we go an edited version because i messed up a couple of things but hope that's useful thanks for watching cheers bye